Hey, what's up, guys? It's Thomas Sesson welcoming you back to the NASCAR 15 Season 1 Race 3. We're here, we're going to Las Vegas Motor Speedway, and I'll be right back once we're at the track. Alright, guys, welcome back, and now it's time to show you the settings once again. Okay. Now, here we go. 50% AI difficulty, 5 minutes practice and qualifying. I will do that in one moment. 15% laps, so that will be 40 laps today. Times 2, tire wear and fuel use, and cautions only and visual damage only. And there are the settings for today's race at Las Vegas. We're going to go accept. And I'll be back with the race in one moment. Alright guys, um, this is Thomas Heston welcoming you back and uh, we're going to take you through a lap here at Las Vegas Motor Speedway as you can see we were side by side with Kurt Busch in that 41 car. Alright, and I'm running in the 20th position right now, I'm doing worse than I thought I would. Alright, but here we go, crossing the start finish line. We're going to take you through a lap and hold on one second guys. Alright guys, sorry about that. Alright. So now we're going. We're taking you through a lap at Las Vegas Motor Speedway, and I'm running in the 24th position. So I need to get a good lap. Oh no, I dropped 26th. All right, so I need to get a good lap in one minute and 55 seconds to make it to the second round. Now I have dropped another position. I need to get a good lap right here. I'm doing worse than I thought I would because I'm usually good at Las Vegas. And I jump up to 23rd. But anyways, um, that's a lap around the Las Vegas Motor Speedway. And we will be back once qualifying is over. Hey, hey. All right, guys. Welcome back. And you just saw me do one lap of qualifying. And I did not make it to the second round. I qualified 32nd in this race. But wait, wait. Hold on one moment. Okay, guys. Welcome back. And, uh... Sorry about that quick pause. I had to do something real fast. And there go the Blue Angels across the sky. And look at the beautiful Las Vegas Motor Speedway for the Las Vegas. The Cobalt Tools 400. This is going to be a great race. And like I said, I qualified 32nd in this race. But Kyle Busch will start on the pole. No surprise there. Clint Boyer will start fit, um, second. Whoa, Kyle Busch. Okay. okay, so Kyle Busch is first. Clint Boyer is second. And, uh, well, then I guess we're not going to see third place and fourth place. I don't have anything else to do. Go outside. All right. It's too hot. Anyway, I will be starting 32nd in this race. Not as good as I thought I would be. But here we go. I'm running in 32nd. And we'll be Kyle Bush and Clint Moore that lead us to the start. Green flag is out. We are underway in the Cobalt Tools 400 from Las Vegas. All right, guys, here we go. Going around turn number four, and it looks like Kyle Busch is the race leader, and he will lead the first lap here at Las Vegas. And this is a 40-lap race, everybody, so I hope y'all are joining me for a long ride. But I dropped to... Um, 34th, and y'all saw me hit Joey Logano right there, and now I just hit the back of Bobby Labonte's car, and now I'm going to the outside of him, and I'm going to get the pass, and guys, I've been on a huge sh um, streak for bad finishes, my best finish so far this year, it was what, it was 32nd, it, it's not good either. Yeah, I was really upset. I'm really upset about it, too, because, you know, I usually do better. But let's see if I can rebound here at Las Vegas. I'm really, I'm pretty good at this track. And I was really surprised when I qualified 32nd. All right, and now Greg Biffle is your new race leader. I did not notice that until just now. We're on the fourth lap. This, this is going to be a long race, and like I said, if you guys think I should go shorter races, y'all tell me in the comments below, but I'm pretty sure I won't.
And now I'm working on passing Regan Smith for 27. See, I figured out what I do. I'm not that good in traffic. Like, when I'm around some people... Wait, wait one second. Alright guys, welcome back. And we are working on Regan Smith, and I get him for 27th place. And now we're going to immediately start working on Brian Vickers. As you can see, um, Michael Annette looks like he's all the way back there. But he's not in last. I know that for sure. Someone is, but I'm not sure who it is. And now Paul Menard moving up, and I'm going to get hit by him. And he's going to move up into Chase Elliott. And the 43 car and the 41 car around. Caution is out. It is our first caution of the day. And that was Paul Menard came up out of nowhere. I didn't even see him. So Paul, the 43 car goes around and gets hit by the 25 and the 31. Or excuse me, 27. And he got hit by a few other cars too. But I was involved in that wreck a little bit. But I saved it. I somehow saved that. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure how, but, you know. So we're going to restart pretty far back in the field. As you can see, Chase Elliott's car is really messed up. I'm not sure if he's going to pit or not. And you see, we have some takers right now. We have Kevin Harvick's going to go in in his paint scheme. All right. So a bunch, some drivers pitted. I'm not one of them. I move up 11 spots into 22nd. Okay. Chase Elliott did not pit either. I thought he would, but he didn't. Here we go. Hold on one second, guys. Okay, guys. And here we go. And the green flag is back out. We are back underway here at Las Vegas. Casey Kane is the race leader. I know it was him and Jimmy Johnson leading us down to the start, and now it's Jimmy Johnson. All right, I'm running on the outside right now. And I'm not... I'm not that good on the outside line, but hey, I can work with it. You can see I move up and I hit the wall right there. And Chase Elliott, I'm, I'm, um, I'm on the outside of Chase Elliott right now. I'm trying to get below him, and we're going to have some contact. And Chase hits the wall, and here we go. Trouble turn number four. The 23 car, or excuse me, the 22 car hits the wall pretty hard. It looks like he collects the number one car. And look at that, a beautiful camera angle, but a huge crash back there. I saw Trevor Bain hit the wall pretty hard. All right, guys, well, I'm just making wrecks today. I'm sorry about that. Sorry about my horrible driving. I mean, like I said, I'm usually better at these tracks. I'm usually better at the, I've usually been better at these last three tracks here. I'm usually better here at Atlanta and at Daytona, especially Daytona. I root. I'm really good on the super speedways, you know, but I guess it's just having a bad week. Okay, caution ceremony. Martin Truex Jr. and Ricky Stenhouse Jr. will be leading us to the start. I did not pit there either, so I will be running in 16th. I'm on the outside once again, and that is not good. So I, I just learned that from that last lap just then. I am not good on the outside. All right, so now we're going to try, and the green flag is back out. We're back underway for the Cobalt Tools 400. Now I want to try to pass someone up there, or at least I want to try to pass Michael Annette. Uh-oh, if we go three wide, and we're not going to go three wide, that's good. But I'm, oh, and I have a little bit of an opening right now, and I'm going to move to the inside. That's perfect. I am now in 17th position right there. But now, oh, and I kind of hit Michael Annette. And we're going to have another caution. Yellow flag is out. Third caution of the day. We cannot even complete a lap here. And that was my fault that time. I hit Michael Annette. I did not mean to. He collects the 34 car of David Reagan. And his car is going to be pretty beat up. All right. Well, that was not supposed to happen. I, I really apologize for all these wrecks that I'm causing, everybody. And we will be back once the green flag drops. All right, guys. Welcome back. And I did not pit there either, so I restart eighth in this race. Or excuse me, I I will restart eighth. It is going to be um, Kyle Larson and Carl Edwards leading us. And the green flag is back out. We are back underway in the Cobalt Tools 400. Let's see if we can complete a lap. All right, Josh Wise is up here. That surprised me at first. And now it looks like my and I'm going to be able to move, but I hit Kevin Harvick in the process. So Kevin Harvick slides up high, and I'm going to try to pass Jeb Burton right here. 
Am I gonna get him? And no, I'm not. He kind of hits me, and I slide up and hit the wall. That was not cool, Jeb. Yeah. Okay. Now I'm. I just kind of had some contact with Kevin, but no damage done. And I am trying to just move into the inside right now. That is what I'm trying to do, and I kind of hit Kevin Harvick right there, and he slides up and hits the wall. Sorry, Kevin. All right, I'm now on the inside of Austin Dillon, and I'm going to pass him. I'm going to be able to stay low, and I'm going below Dillon Art Jr. And I thought he would do better in this race as well, but he's running in the 12th position. And Justin Allgaier is the race leader. He's, it looks like he's going to lead this lap. No, Denny Hamlin leads this lap, and I'm going down on the apron to get a pretty good jump right there. You are allowed. You are allowed to do that in NASCAR at this track. And I'm gonna get passed by Jimmy Johnson. It looks like. And I'm gonna bit hit. I'm gonna get hit by Josh Wise. And I kind of made some contact there with Dale Earnhardt Jr. And he now moves into the top ten. And now we're three wide in the in the turn number four. And look at us. We are three wide back there. They're all over the place. I am now trying to pass the number 98 car, Josh Wise. As Denny Hamlin is still the race leader, he's starting to pull away. And here's Kyle Busch. He was he started the race as the pole sitter. We're now on lap 14 of 40. All right. And hold on, guys, one moment. Okay, guys, welcome back. And now I'm running in the ninth position. We are still on lap 14. I had a I had to do something real quick. And I'm sorry for all the interruptions in this race today, guys. But there's a lot of noise behind me, so. And now I'm going to pass. And it looks like I'm going to get by Carl Edwards. He's really slow. I just saw him drop back big time. But now I'm being chased down by, it looks like, the eight, um, the 16 car of Greg Biffle. He almost passed me right there. And now Jimmy, and now Carl, excuse me, Kyle Larson is dropping back. But, and now Casey Mears is the race leader. He's not been doing that good so far this season. And now I'm going to go below Kyle Larson and try and pass him. As well as Jimmy Johnson, and I kind of hit him. Sorry about that, Jimmy. It doesn't look like he lost that many positions. Yeah, he just drops behind Greg Biffle right there. Pretty far back, but. All right, now I'm going to try and go below Jeb Burton. By the way, Jeb Burton is doing a really good job. And I'm going to go ahead and return the favor, Jeb. So I he hit me earlier and I'm I went ahead and hit him to move him out of the way and he does hit the outside wall. Whoa! I almost hit Denny Hamlin right there. And now Justin Allgaier is back up in the race lead, but I now pass Denny Hamlin. Oh no, Denny Hamlin's got me still. And I slide up. I'm really tight right there. And now Justin Allgaier is going to lose the lead to Casey Mears. And we are three wide going into turn number three. And me and Denny Hamlin are sticking together right now. And I slide way up the track. I almost hit Denny Hammond right there, but I finally clear him. So I'm now working on passing Casey Mears. All right, I go below him, and it looks like I have the lead for right now. And it looks like, and I'm clear. I pass Casey Mears for the race lead. All right. So I am now the race leader. Coming out of turn number four. And I'm going to leave my first lap here at Las Vegas in the Cobalt Tools 400 today. So that's good. We finally lead a lap in this race. That's going to give us... That's going to give us a pretty good advantage. But my fuel is almost gone. So I'm going to have to pit here in a little bit. Matter of fact, I'm going to pit this next lap, everybody. And like I said, guys, I apologize. There's a bunch of noise behind me. So you might you might hear me talking a little bit loud, and you might hear some background noise. I apologize for that, everybody. Okay. Now, coming into turn number one, I am still the race leader by half a second on Casey Mears. So I have pulled away a little bit, but I'm about to lose my lead because I'm going to pit right here. And here we go, I'm dropping, and I'm going to drop here. And I gotta slow down, but it looks like Denny Hamlin passes Casey Mears in time. So I'm gonna slow down in 55 miles per hour. 
Alright, so I entered 54. Alright guys, we're going to take four tires here. And we're going to fill it up with fuel. And so now, y'all are going to get to see my pit crew go to work. As, and we're also going to add some uh, some grill tape to make it cooler. And we're going to add some track bar. Oh man, I didn't get it in time. Because as you can see, I've been a little tight. Alright, anyway, here we go. Alright, they're changing the right side tires first. And a good job right there. They did flawless right there. And now they're going to the left side. They're going to give me left side tires and full can of gas. And I'm probably... I'm probably a lap down, but that's okay. Yes, I am 43rd one lap down. But that's alright. I'm the first car to go into the pits right now. And my fuel... I'm full of gas. And I got four fresh tires. Whoa, kind of slid right there. And now we're entering the track. And now I can see a car going into the pits right now. I'm not sure if that car is a problem or if he's just... Or if he or she's just... Oh, now we have... We actually have three cars going in the pits right now. And one right there that looks like it's David Gilland. Alright. Jeb Burton is now the race leader. Oh, no. Denny Hamlin takes it back. Remember when I went into the pits, it was Denny Hamlin as the race leader. So he's been pretty dominant today. Even though Kyle Busch was... Um... He started this race as the pole sitter. And all those cars up there still have yet to, or some of those cars up there are going to have to pit, but some of those cars have pitted every single caution, so they should be okay. But like I said, I'm hoping to get my lap back because they are going to have to pit before I will. So this, all these pit windows and stuff are kind of messed up, but I now gained to 39th because all those cars are now one lap down. And now it looks like a bunch of other cars are ducking down into the pits. And yeah, a pretty, pretty big bunch right there goes in. And there's Chase Elliott right there running in the 36th position. And here we go. Now, I'm not sure the car in front of me is... Um, I, I, I think that's Ty Dillon, I'm, I'm pretty sure. But as soon as Denny Hamlin passes those cars on pit road, that means I will be able to pass them. And yes, that is Ty Dillon. That's what I thought. All right, a few of the cars are slow on the back stretch, but now I'm going to pass all those cars on pit road, except for those three coming in. I now move to 36. Let's see where I will be. I move up to 33rd right now. Denny Hamlin, the race leader, he is um, ahead of me by one lap. I am one lap down. Now he's putting all those cars a lap down that are in the pits, and I'm going to pass them before they exit. Coming out of turn number four, and let's see where I will be right here. I'm going to use the apron a little too early, but that's okay. And a lot of drivers in the real NASCAR Spring Cup Series and Xfinity Series and Cramping World Truck Series, come to think of it, they all use that apron to get a big, a big burst of speed, and it's like a shortcut. I just used it right there for no particular reason, but like I said, it gets you good speed coming out of the turn number, coming down into the trial. As you can see, watch, I'm going to use it right here. We're going to duck in the apron, and then you go all the way right there, and you come back up, and then you get right there. So I'm now 27, and a lot of cars are beginning to make their green flag pit stops, and I'm pretty sure that's Kevin Harvick that's in front of me. Because the red behind... Yeah, that's Kevin Harvick. Okay. He's in 22nd right now. But Greg Biffle is now the race leader. So I, I'm pretty sure Denny Hamlin went into the pits just then. Alright, so let's see where I end up right now. I'm now in 23rd. Denny Hamlin is... He gave up the race lead to go into the pits. Greg Biffle is now the race leader. I'm running in 23rd, and a bunch of cars are on the pits right now, but we have a slow car in turn number 3, or excuse me, in turn 4. Greg Biffle is still currently the race leader. Alright, I am now 14th, one lap down. 
a lot of these cars are going to be going a lap down. And now Matt Kenseth is the race leader because Greg Biffle decides to give up his lead. He just wanted to lead a few laps. I can understand that. I've done that before. I'm still running in the 14th position. Let's see where I end up here in a second. Alright, I'm now 11th. I'm still currently a lap down. But hey, at least I'm 11th. I mean, I usually end up around the 40s and 30s. Or, oh, I'm going to hit the wall. I was really tight right there. Matt Kenseth now gives up his race lead. And now Kurt Busch is the race leader. Dang it, I just cannot catch a break. I'm hoping one of those leaders can get a pretty big lead so I can get my lap back. But now if Kurt Busch pits, I will be able to get my lap back. I move into fifth position, one lap down. Oh, and here we go. If Kurt Busch pits right here, then I will get my lap back and possibly get the lead. And Kurt Busch is now pitting, so I will be able to get my lap back. There's Kurt Busch right there. I can see him. I get my lap back, and this is good. All right, I'm running fifth right now. I will be in second place. Yes, I am now in the second position right, right now. And as soon as I pass Kurt Busch, I will have a huge lead over, um, I'm pretty sure that's Ty Dillon. I mean, excuse me, Austin Dillon. Hold on a second, guys. Okay, guys, welcome back, and sorry about that. Alright, and here we go. Coming down into the front stretch. I'm going to pass Kurt Busch and get the race lead back. And I'm now leading over Kurt Busch and Kyle Busch right now by a pretty big margin. I'm leaning over Kyle Busch right now by three seconds. And here we go. This might be a straight shot to the finish. Green flag all the way. And guys, my phone battery is almost dead, so hold on one moment. But we're going to try and get this a last lap shot right now. And we might have a straight shot to the finish right now for the green flag. This might be green flag racing from here on out. But remember, as soon as it hits five laps, I'm going to go in cockpit mode. And here we come around turn number two, down the front stretch. I'm Bobby Labonte is now second place, and he is starting to gain on me a little bit. Nope, Kyle Busch is now back up in the second. And Bobby Labonte moves to fourth. We have six laps to go. And here we go on to the back stretch. And sorry if I don't talk these last few laps because I want to try and win this race after my horrible streak. And here we go, out of turn number four. Five laps to go here in the Cobalt Tools 400, and it's time for a Crank It Up edition. This cockpit mode is really beautiful, by the way. Great, amazing graphics.